Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! Christmas is on its way, and my tree doesn't have a topper yet! I thought, what better thing to top off a tree with than a little angel doll? So that gave me an excuse to run to the toy store and buy this little cutie! I was looking for a little Mimi with blonde hair and was happy to see this doll had bangs too! I really love bangs. I have to stop myself from giving every single doll bangs. <laughs> anyway, she's really cute and adorable as is, but I have plans for you, little dolly. To begin, I'm going to sweep her hair out of the way and secure it. Next, I'm going to wipe off the factory paint with acetone. All clean! Give her a wipe with warm water before applying your first layer of sealant. Usually I show myself spraying the doll, but it was nighttime when I filmed this, so just imagine it. Let's start on her new face. I like to begin by applying blush to the cheeks and lips, using a kneaded eraser to clean up around the lips. Next, I bust out the watercolor pencils and start sketching the eyes. I want this doll to be very anime, very what some people call kawaii style, you know, the super sugary sweet rainbow pastel color scheme, etc. Really over the top. Basically the opposite of the more realistic face I gave to my first little Mimi doll. Now, Monster High dolls have eye molding, which makes it easy to place the eyes, but Mimi has a flat face, making it slightly more challenging to get things even. Try to measure the distance from the nose, lips, ears, etc. to get them placed correctly to the best of your ability. I think my doll might have ended up a little wonky, but hey, only supermodels have perfectly symmetrical faces, right? You can see I'm trying to get the rainbow pastel effect in her eyes, but my colored pencils are too dark and I don't have a lilac pencil. There's a lot of lilac in my design, so I'll likely be touching everything up with acrylic paints. With my paints wet on the palette, just out of the camera shot, I begin working quickly. I add a little wet paint, then color by color I work around the iris trying to blend them in as I go. A little roughness around the edges is okay, I think. I actually think the texture the paint made as it dries looks kind of interesting. Time for the eye shines. Naturally, they need to be as cutesy as the rest of the face-up, so I'm planning on making them star-shaped. For some tiny doll-sized sparkle, I'm going to use rhinestones meant for nail art. Using Elmer's glue all, I'm applying a teeny dot with a toothpick and then delicately placing on the rhinestone. She's finally starting to look adequately sparkle-tastic but I decided to build up the whites a little more with paint. Let's pop a few more shines in those eyes, and there we go! Now she's super duper kawaii! I'm going to seal the deal with Liquitex high gloss varnish over her eyes. Time to take the hair down. Her bangs need some love, but I'm happy with how she looks. Next, she needs an angelic outfit. Luckily, I've got plenty of white lace to choose from. On a scale this small, the lace is practically an outfit on its own. I'm going to gather a small strip of white fabric, add some tiny straps and lace accents, and call it done. Usually, I make doll clothes to be removable. This time I'm making this doll for the sole purpose of being a Christmas decoration, so I'm sewing it directly on her with no intention of changing outfits. Every angel needs wings. Taking a piece of computer paper, I sketch out my design. I fold the paper in half and glue it to double the thickness.
In hindsight, cardstock, fun foam, or felt fabric would have worked better, but I used what I had on hand. I made two of the wings and joined them together in the center by using a rivet. Rivets are designed for corsets or shoes, so it's a little overkill for a simple project made out of paper, but it's what I had. I actually wanted to use those little office supply metal doohickeys, but I couldn't find any. To connect the wings to her body, I feed a wire through the hole and create a coil so that it holds the wings from the outside and doesn't slip through. I make a little hole in her dress and feed the wire through so that I can coil around her body where it won't be seen. To keep the wire in place and so that it won't catch on her hair or anything, I'm covering the joint with some protective hot glue. She's looking good, but she's missing something. Of course! How could I forget the copious amounts of glitter? First, I apply glue all over the wings, then sprinkle on some delicate white glitter. Do this over a protective surface like a sheet of scrap paper, and you can reharvest the loose glitter afterwards. You'll waste less that way, and have an easy cleanup. Naturally, this would have been easier before I attached the wings, but oops. While we're at it, let's get some on our clothes and hair. Yeah, ignore what I said about that easy cleanup. For the halo, I'm taking some thin golden jewelry wire and freehanding a circular shape with the stem. To attach it, I simply stab it into the back of her head through an existing hair plug hole. It's not very strong, but once again I'm considering her a seasonal decoration and less of a durable object. The last thing she needs is a way to attach to the tree. I'm sure stopping her on top would kind of work thanks to the dress, but just to make sure I'm going to add a little more wire. I'm going to feed it in around her waist and twist it together so that it's strong, and then leave a length of it past the end of her dress. Now I've got a way to secure her to the branches. If I had planned ahead a little better, this could have been the same wire that's holding her wings on. Can you guys tell that I kind of made this one up as I go? <laughs> that's the last step though, and she's done! So, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Three Kings Day, whatever it is you celebrate, Happy Holidays. Give this video a like if you like this little angel sugary sweet chubby cherub face, and subscribe for more fun customizing. Stay artsy! Annyeong! Hey, little angel, isn't there some place you ought to be?